So in this section, I'm going to talk about some of the template attributes and where you can find those within the Siemens documents and then uh, show you how you can set up your own custom tab for your particular group. Maybe uh, you, you need a couple different tabs in there. I've seen places where they've had three, one for tooling, somebody for manufacturing, and you basically just copy that uh, PAX file into the same folder and you just rename it as a uh, tooling or a manufacturing um, PAX file. So jumping back into NX here, go ahead and close all this out for you. And I've already started working on a uh, separate file because I'm still sort of developing this. So here's my uh, 3D model. And I want to make sure whatever sort of uh, attribute that I place inside of my drawing templates, I want to make sure my model template has the same information inside of it. Otherwise, the uh, end user is probably going to have to you know, start the new model and be instructed to say, hey, make sure these sort of attributes are in there. But if you want to take that uh, activity out of their hands, make sure it's in the modeling template also. So you don't have to worry about them uh, going in and, and modifying any information. And I'll go ahead and open up my, my drawing. So just jumping back into my model, I go down to preferences, uh, I'm sorry, properties. I can go ahead and, and create a, uh, a attribute in there that I want it to show up on the drawing. So I'll say uh, author. And the value for that is going to be whatever it is that you, you want it to show up. So there's my uh, category for author and the value that's going to show up on my drawing when I, once I link everything together. So just adding in that component that I just added the attribute to. Go ahead and hit OK. And you can see it in my assembly navigator that the swoosh canned part is in there. So just adding a note. Uh, let's do author by. Give it a space. And this is where you're going you're gonna to link that information. For the object, that's going to be the part that's connected to this. And if it was a, a referenced uh, drawing format, it would have picked it up automatically. But I'll just pick this guy, pick the canned uh, information. There's my author, go ahead and hit OK. So if they ever decide to change the information in the actual canned part, let's change the properties there. So you can see it show up on the drawing. And again. All right. Once they apply it. So this information lives down inside that can part. And then I want to go ahead and maybe add the properties into my uh, drawing so that it has the same information. And I'll just leave the values blank there. So once it's referenced, it'll it'll link back to that, that CAN file. Now, if you wanted to have your own uh, tab created, so when you go to File New, start your new drawing tabs, you want to change that for your company so that it, it says, you know, swoosh drawings or tooling drawings. I'm going to go ahead and open up my uh, root directory for NX12. And I went to the wrong spot. I'm used to going the old way, so NX12 and then drafting templates and in my PAX file, you'll find at the very top of that particular PAX file for drawings, the presentation tab is gonna be drawing right here. So if I needed to say something completely different, and this only takes effect after I've saved it, closed NX and came back in.
firing the NX back up. And while that's doing that, we'll open up uh, <clears throat> GTEC. It looks like NX came up faster than I thought. So file new. And there's my new new tab for my SUS drawings. If I had something for manufacturing, I would just copy that PAX file, rename it. As long as it says PAX, um, it'll it'll go and find it and add that extra tab into this. Back inside of uh, GTEx site, uh, this help is out there for anybody to go out and look at. It's uh, it's really helpful from anything from 10 up other than if you have to look at anything inside of nine or something older, it's a little difficult to do searches because it's uh, heavily influenced by Java and they've they've did some sort of work there and they're able to work through it now. So 10, 11, and 12, and I'll just pick the 12 documentation. And we wanna work with uh, in it, some design stuff and uh, maybe drafting. And you could dig through it that way, or I can go ahead and, and switch back into my home area and type in attributes. So it truncates the, the, the list a little bit. You can see I have over 2,000 results, and I want to tune that in a little bit more. So I'll go into design, expanding that, look at drafting. And I'm really playing with the drawing templates. So. I'll go ahead and expand that guy and maybe some of that basic drafting template information that I'm looking for. Once I select that, then I've got nine results. So there out of the box are some of the drafting uh, control strings that you can set up for your templates. So, Attributes are going to be very uh, helpful in populating information that you don't want users to go in there and, and modify. So if you get that all set up in your drawing templates, it's going to make things a lot faster. So you can focus on modeling rather than developing and recreating your drawing formats each and every time. And I think that's going to be beneficial for somebody that's working with drawings all the time. You have new users that usually come in and, and do that detail work. So you don't want them to have to recreate this every single time and ask questions and really slow down the process.